Oh, hell yeah. Good morning, boys and girls. Thanks for coming back. Welcome to day two of O'Neill Sim, the 100 day project of learning to code in JavaScript and build this crazy game about space simulations. So, yesterday, I built a super janky version of the game just in a single HTML file. And the goal for today, number one, is to get that file online and working. Publish yesterday's video. I'm gonna give myself a one day buffer. So I'll publish yesterday's video tonight and then today's video tomorrow night. Da, 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 da. And um, if I have time, start cleaning up the code. Last night, late at night, I was watching this video just about building basically Pong. Amazing tutorial, guys. An hour and 15 minutes long, they go all the way from nothing, from a blank canvas, to this working game. If I have some extra time today, I'm gonna update my code so it looks like this. All right, guys, while I wait for yesterday's video to render, uh, let me show you the general outline of the space station. Let's say you're going around the you're going around the Earth, and you want to go away from the Earth. You don't push your rockets like away from the Earth. Instead, you push your rockets in line with where you're going because then that increases your speed, and so you'll get further and further away from the planet. All right, it, it's not exactly intuitive. But if you play something like Kerbal Space Program, it'll become more intuitive. Today, we have to speed up the space station every now and then. Like there are trace amounts of friction in the space that it's flying through that would slow it down, uh, which causes it to come closer to the Earth. So we have to speed it back up so that it stays a constant distance. Most things in orbit or anywhere in space are in a pretty fragile state where if they speed up or slow down even a little bit, they're gonna get closer to something or further away from something. There's a special point relative to the moon and the earth where gravity is pushing you into that point always. So if you slide a little bit out, you'll naturally fall back to this point. This is called the Lagrangian L4 and L5 points. And that is where we've got our colony. The colony is where we want to get 100,000 people. And that was the goal of the study. 100,000 people living in a colony in space. I'm going to step out for a coffee quick. Guys, if you've made it this far, please do consider liking this video, giving me a subscribe, maybe a comment. If you're really enjoying it, tweet at me or visit the site and play the game. Um, uh, by the way, I live in Ho Chi Minh City, so I'm not on vacation or anything. This is just my house and I love Vietnamese coffee. Another big concept is that this thing is getting bombarded with cosmic radiation um, and solar radiation, which is really, really dangerous. So we basically need like a several meter thick rock wall. And the only way that we're gonna get that much mass in order to build a shield that big is by getting it from the moon. So part of this study and potentially part of the game, I'm not sure yet, is a device, one device on the moon that basically speeds this stuff up as fast as it can and then fly, that flings it into the air like a rail gun. And then a catcher out in space, which catches that and converts the momentum the other way and flings it towards the colony. And then at the colony, the mass like little pellets of moon rocks literally are caught and then uh, it just kind of corralled into place. Totally wacky, the engineering of it worked at the time in 1977. So we have a heavy lift launch vehicle to bring things into low earth orbit. And then from low earth orbit, there is a modular tug that can just push things um, out of that low earth parking orbit, either off towards the moon or towards our colony. Our colony is supported economically by this uh, satellite solar power station. This is what would fund the entire thing, was selling power generated on a satellite station. And then we would beam the power down to Earth. So that obviously hasn't come to pass, but we're going to make it work for the game. Oh boy. Episode 1 is rendered. 
Let's have a look, see how it did. Oh, hell yeah. I, I'm into it. I hope it does well. All right, guys, it's time for me to get to work on my real job. So I hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like. And if this is your first video, please do subscribe. I'm brand new to this. We're going to crush this game and create something really fun. And I can't wait until we get there.